ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Hey. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the scene. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday and I hope y'all are loving that new intro. So I had the homegirl go ahead and sing a new hook for the show, so I'm loving it. I hope you guys like the intro as well. Anyways, I hope y'all are doing good today. Today is Wednesday. We have been having a lot of storms out here. Um, it is so bad that my son's um, high school, all their electricity went out, okay? So a lot of people in the neighborhood, they're dealing with, you know, electrical problems where they don't have no electricity. My house was not hit yesterday, so we still have electricity. So we still have electricity, so thank you, Lord Jesus. So that, But I don't want to go live just for the fact that it's a lot of rolling thunderstorms right now, and I don't want to be in the middle of my live stream, and all of a sudden, bam, the power goes out. So um, I'll probably go live near the end of this week. But I had to come on and talk about this whole Benzino situation, child. When I tell you Benzino has literally been trending for like the last month, I try to ignore it because I remember somebody sent me a super chat last time I went live and they were like, oh, what do you think about the Benzino Red Roof Inn situation? And at the time I hadn't seen the video. And for me, if I haven't seen something, if I don't know the ins and outs of a story, I don't speak on it. You know, that's just what you call integrity. You don't speak and make assumptions on something that you have no idea about and something that you haven't seen. So since then, I did end up watching the video of Benzino and he was with his so-called best friend and book writer. Okay. His name is Cavario. And so they were caught at the Red Roof Inn. And, you know, normally you would just think, OK, well, I don't know why they're there, but, you know, maybe there was a meeting, maybe something was going on, whatever. But it was a few things that kind of piqued my interest as I listened to the video. Now, one of the things that Benzino said, which I found very interesting, is he was saying if we were a white couple, if we were John and Bill Summerfield, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't be stopping us. And I thought that was a really strange analogy because why would you consider you and your so-called best friend one a couple, honey? And even if white folks are doing it, why do we always have to get in the mentality, you know, well, white people do it so, sir, they were literally knocking on this man's door for several minutes. The front desk guy who also was gay, he decided to call the police because at the time, they didn't pay for an extra day. Y'all know damn well checkout in any hotel in America is 11 o'clock in the morning. And if you want to stay past 11, you know you need to call because they're going to start doing their rounds. They're going to start knocking on doors. So when they knocked on the door, no one answered. But the man, I guess he heard the shower going. Honey, we're out of shampoo. Got it, dear. And so my thing is, if y'all are just friends... Um, it doesn't take two people to answer the door. So if Benzino's in the shower, why wouldn't Cavario answer the door? Or if Cavario was in the shower, why would Benzino not answer the door and say, hey, we just need, you know, one more day or a few more hours. But they were both. I mean, were y'all both in the shower together? Because I don't understand why no one answered the door when the front door clerk, you know, what I'm saying came kn knock three times on the ceiling. If you want me, he came knocking and y'all must have not wanted him because y'all chose not to answer the door until the pole pose came banging. So let me go ahead and play y'all the Red Roof in video that went viral last month. This entire situation is a mess, honey. Went viral on the 13th of March. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I was staying overnight, I was in the shower, he came banging on the door, the Spanish guy came up first, I said, yeah, I'm going to go downstairs, there's my credit card, I was staying overnight, like, that guy's crazy, man, it's not, so, so checking out, it's not even a big thing, he's wasting your time, he ain't did no fucking crime or nothing, that motherfucker's crazy. 
The Spanish guy came, get some eco, I'm staying another night. We go downstairs. I'm in the shower. What the fuck does he want me to do, man? All right, sir. Crazy, so, man. So, so we're leaving. Is there anything else in this room? He's in the shower. You want to go talk to him? He's right up. He's getting ready. He's getting right here. You can see him. You can see him. Okay, here you go. Hey, please. I told the dog, the eyes of the house. Hey, sir. Hey, I came up here and stuff. Hey, I'm doing everything. Hey, little face. How you doing? You see me? You see me? Hi. <laughs> oh, that looks delicious. That egg sun side up. That is awesome. You gonna say no? Yeah, Mr. Scott. Yeah, he's the he's the registrar. Okay. He's the person who got the room, dealt with the room, dealt That's with fine. them. I never dealt with that. What's your uh, what's your name, sir? This is my <laughs> We're not losing no sleep because he's telling us when I come back. It's just the it's just what's the your birthday? principle oh, of everything. I'm sorry. We have you know what I'm saying? Now granted, if if we was white, it never would have happened. We know this. I mean, so hold on. That's the right. social, social regardless of situations. Right? That's regardless feel, of all right. this. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna bring the gentleman out here because in, in the state of Georgia, please do. If someone doesn't, that's fine. I want your business. That's all right because we're gonna take this over his head to Red Roof and the management. That's fine. And you no, can do that. That's okay. Well, okay. go get him so I get so, him. But please. here's here's that my question. Right there? No. Here's my question. When he comes outside, when I get him. We're not going to have any issues, are we? What's the issue? You, I, you no, think I'm going to have issues with 70 no. with, with 40 police listen, out here? Like, listen, what, what sense does this listen, make? Listen, my that's question is... That's the guy knocking the door. Hang on. Huh? That's him? That's the guy that's knocking the door. Can I talk? Can I talk? Yeah, that's right. What I'm saying is, before I bring him that's out him. here... That's him. Okay, that's fine. Once I bring him out here, I just want to make sure we're not going to have any issues, okay? There's no issues. Okay, awesome, okay cool. Man. I just want him to get that's over cool. this over here. That's cool. Just hang on, hang on right there for me. Hey. Just stand over there. Alright, so you wanna you wanna trespass him, was that right? Yeah. Was that you that just spoke to us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they, they can't come back to the number. Okay. They can't come back to the So have you done this before? Yeah. Okay. So one thing I mean you just gotta do it. it it's on um what's the word? It's on camera. That was really Hey. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. I even came upstairs while I, we, we, we was getting ready to get this. Stop. One of them. It's not that serious, all right? Okay. Then I even came upstairs, all right? You have my credit card. I said, he's asking. He said, I, I, I'm staying another day. I said, yes, we'll stay another day. You come up. Boom, 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 boom. What did you, what, what did you, if, if, if we was white, what, 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 have you knocked on the door like that? Okay, so who, who, I, I, I just need to answer, okay. would, would you have banged on our door like that, okay, yes or no? Okay, First okay, of all, what? Okay, I didn't, you're a clown, Somebody man. came, did this. Who did that? After you banged on the door. Right, so he wouldn't even know you was right, at the right, door, you right, clown. Right, Mr. Scott. Right. You're a clown. Alright, so you're not allowed to come back No, no, I need to know your no. name. Okay. Because, because we gotta we gotta take this to up to Red Roof. Listen. You clown. Listen. Mr. Scott. No, I need your name. Mr. Scott, what you're gonna do, you're gonna leave. And if you want, you can call back and get the information, okay? Call back who? Call back, you can call back the Red Roof. Call back you the can red. call I don't care what you so listen. you ain't so you ain't gonna give us his name? Listen. Uh -huh. Every time when I brought you together, you got belligerent and you started yelling at him, okay? I'm here to keep the peace. You understand that, okay, right? But what about our rights, though? What about our rights? I'm just asking you. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, did, did, did you ask us what happened? Did, 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 did you ask me what happened? He, what he's telling did me, you ask me okay, what happened? I'm not going to argue with you about this. So you asked me so what happened? Okay, so can, can, I, can I get your um, office? Y'all have, have been officially been 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 criminally been trespassed. Been Here's my business card. Yeah, I need that. I need that. If you was white, you wouldn't be doing this. All right. You have a good one. Here's my business card. Yeah, I need that. I need that. And if it was white, you wouldn't be doing this. All right. You have a good one. I got lawyers. That's fine, too. You can't You just can't do all that stuff that you used to do. All right. I'm recording. That's fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. If we was white, you can best believe that this would be happening. This wouldn't be happening at all. If we was a white couple, John and Bill, John and Bill Summerfield, this would not be happening. If we was white, you can best believe that this would be happening. This wouldn't be happening at all. If we was a white couple, John and Bill, John and Bill Summerfield, this would not be happening. Wait, didn't it?
Zeno's getting out the shower. Kavaria was still in the shower. Something ain't cleaning the buttermilk, bitch, but I digress. So anyway, so that was viral. A lot of people were talking about that. And so, you know, um, there was a lot of discussions on Clubhouse. And Benzino got into it. He went on Clubhouse, him and WAC 100, and they were basically addressing the whole gay rumor because a lot of people were saying that Benzino was gay, he's on the DL. And so Benzino went on to Clubhouse and he started snapping. This was on April 7th. He went off, you know, he was defending himself. He was saying that, you know, a lot of people on social media were just being messy. WAC 100 was also trying to defend him. Now, this was on April 7th. I want y'all to go ahead and check this out. Don't think y'all gonna keep open up shit on straight men. Nah, we can fight back over here. We're a little deep, y'all, on the side. For real, for real. Straight up. Straight up. I, I guarantee you, I'm kicking 100,000 in the greenhouse. And every room I reach out to, gonna there open is. the fuck there up. Shout out to hey, Benzino. Hey, I'm gonna mute up. Ion, tell this man he gay, and we gonna mute up. Yo. Whack, what up, man? What up? What up, y'all? Man, look, bro. The nigga <laughs> got a gay room over there. Tried to run a narrative on you, bro. Like, you checking out the hotel, the man. What up, fam? Welcome back to Hit My Verify. So, breaking news Whack 100 and Benzino got their accounts clip over an argument that they got into it with Ion. Ion, I guess, is a media reporter. Ion has been making rooms about Kanye and other straight men. And trying to make it seem like they're gay. Who that moving dope on tour, all kind of shit. Shit, y'all was saying, keep it moving. But he wanted to call you gay. So I said, you know what? I can't fight him on his own platform. But guess what? My rooms is just as big, if not bigger than his. So we gonna stand up for the straight man, Ion. There that man go. And Yo, what's up, Ion? So um, I created a room that... Uh, Talked about the video that resurfaced um, about you being in that room uh, with that man, and I opened the room. Hey, Ayan, Ayan, Ayan. Go ahead. Ayan, Ayan, Ayan. What you got to understand, Ayan, 
Ain't everybody with getting fucked in the ass and sucking men dick. You got to get that through your head first. It's okay for you to be gay, Ion. You guys made it. You're here. You don't have to march no more. You getting jobs. You guys are cool. Every you people, straight people are accepting you to be friendly with you and friends. You're not being beat up no more. But Ion, what you got to stop doing is trying to make it seem like every straight man wants to be gay. Because Ion, that's not the case, Ion. You see, I, I didn't even, I don't, I, I don't even bring this shit up because it was so preposterous. Like, I'm 56, bro. I'll be 57 in July. I done did so much murder, kill shit, ridiculous dumb shit that I'm blessed to be on this earth and still not locked up. Don't play with me, Ion. Don't play with my name. Don't play with my legacy. All right? I'm going through enough already out here. I'm not trying to fight with the LGBT. None of that. None of that. And, 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 and let me and, and, and let me even keep it more 100. I got an OnlyFans, right? That I just show pictures of me. You know what I'm saying? Because I work out. And yeah, I show pictures of my dick. I, okay? Uh, all that. And I'm sure there's gay men on there. But I am straight, Ion. When me and motherfucking Kavari was in that room, that's a fucking, that's one of my best friends. Not only uh, that, 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 that I gave him, um, he, he don't work for me at the source and at Hip Hop Weekly, but he done been on tour with me and my father when me and my father got locked up fighting police. Ion, don't play with me. Don't play with me, man. I don't play with you. I don't I don't disrespect you and how you move or whatever. I don't give a fuck how that video look like. I could care less what anybody thinks. Motherfuckers would not come to me in person and say any of that shit. And that's a fact. You see, I don't care about none of this. I'm out here. I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm in these streets getting it. I'm not trying to play around with nobody's legacy, their name, or their reputation. Don't play with mine. I don't know what your motivation is, and I can care fucking less. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't answer on this, but whack motherfucking called me and he said, look, bro, and, 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 and whack, I love you. I'm anything you need from me, I'm I'm there for you. Because you know, you know what? Because because for him to have the influence that he has and him to stick up for me, nigga, that's big. All right. The bottom line is Ion, Ion, get it through your head. Not everybody wants another man's dick in his ass and and that not but it's okay that's what you like ion then that's what you like i'm not i'm i'm not disrespecting you for that me and you could still me and you could still be cool i did a whole fucking reality show with a gay man played basketball with him and everything a one on one i'm very confident who i am i got three sons none of them are gay but that but if they were to be i'd have to i'd have to fucking still love them don't play with me Okay, can I speak now? <laughs> so I, I would encourage you to re-listen to the replays. Um, and you can set a lawsuit or whatever if I called you gay. The video, the, the room clearly says, right? Clearly says, I right? wouldn't give a fuck what the room <laughs> Nigga, you know what and the I don't fuck, fuck you with you. Doing, I'm, letting you know, I'm letting you know if you got a problem with me about any real shit, man to man with me. Man to man with me. What, what does that mean? It's I'm not. I'm not I doing this with you on here, bro. I'm not. And I don't give. Listen, listen. Hey, bro. Listen, I'm letting anybody think what they want. I'm man, man, man with you. That means I'm letting niggas know LGBTQ, whatever other alphabet. Right. If a gay or straight man get out of right, none of that. Great. Period. Well, yeah. um, cool. That's fine. Period. Well, y'all, y'all. But see what you think. Oh, I'm gay. I'm a girl. You can't hit. No, no, nigga. You can get it too. You a man. You get you get the end up right now. I want to do rooms about whatever I want to do rooms about. Period. Yes, I like. Okay, don't take your little ass over there. Do that. Do that. When I see one person, and we gonna do an answer to that ass over here, and do it. When I see you come out, see you gonna answer to that. We gonna attack you. You fucking pussy. Yeah, yo. You pussy. Oh, okay, cool. Got you. No, nah, that's just what he want. He ain't got one of them. Oh, but uh, but I'm not in the rooms with, with men, though. Yeah, fuck out of you, baloney smuggler. Get all the right, fuck out right, of right. you, you, you in those rooms in bed with men, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That motherfucker. Who's that? He was in the something. bed with a man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, you weirdo. You're a weirdo, bro. Be, be mad at who you're a weirdo, bro. Be you're off. You're, you're, you're a weirdo. You're confused. You're mad because you're mad because you get fucked in your ass by men. I'm not mad. I, yeah, I don't but do I'm that. Open That's about you do. Mine. That's what, are you mine. proud of that? Are we proud of that, Ayan? Are you proud of that, Ayan? Hey, Ayan, I, 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 are you proud of getting fucked in your ass by men? I'm going to be disrespectful. I'm very proud. Huh, huh, Ayan? You like that? You like that? You like Ayan? You like a nigga? Huh? You like that? Very proud. proud. Then we're huh? proud about That's just disgusting. the vagina. That's just disgusting. You know homie. what's the yeah, We're proud about the vagina, nigga. You know what's the best? Don't try to put us in the same. Right now. How many pills you taking to survive? How many pills you taking to survive, Ayan? How many pills do you take every day to survive out here? 
Huh? What you said? You heard what the fuck I said, no, I nigga. didn't hear you. Everybody yelled. You heard what I, I said. said again. Why would I take pills? You don't take pills? No. Why would I take pills? Yeah. For what? You know, why, yeah, you know why. No, I don't know. Nigga. Why would I take pills? For you know what? why? You know why. Hey, hey, hold on. Yo, Rocky down there. Why would I take pills? I just for sent what? him an invite. He's up. Fucking baloney. What because up, all of us, hey Rocky, what in up? tour Danger life, right? In tour life, how many, how many motherfuckers is double bedded to a fucking room on the road a month, two months at a time? Niggas be in rooms, nigga. Niggas be double up. Hey, so what, fuck, hey, what? Let me tell you something. I don't, that's that's why data is great right, men. I done been in rooms. I done no. been in rooms, and we done been four deep. And, and, and niggas was head, that. And niggas was head to toe. I know that. You ain't gotta tell me. Niggas was using the small room. towels, the fucking hand towels, to fucking no, clean them all. Sometimes, the sometimes when niggas do it, they be in a bus. Sometimes niggas cool. be in a bus, my nigga. And then when they pull up to the hotels, then they go, but they go be in a room, bunk up in And everybody go shower. Yeah, just to go shower up and shit. Fuck you, mean niggas gonna be funky on the bus? Stupid motherfucker! Here. Straight you man, want everybody bro. Be, hey, you want everybody, straight man. You want everybody. You want everybody to be all to, to be all fucked hey, up. Straight man. No, nigga, you only like to get fucked in the ass. Okay. Weirdo. At least I admit it. I'm good. No, I, uh, no, do you I'm, give yeah, or receive? Nice, nice, Which nice one? Fucker, Don't nice fucking play with me. Ow. <laughs> do you give or receive, I? I? You know, if, if you're in a penitentiary, wait, they're, 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 they this is why there's a problem with the uh, because because they don't quiet motherfuckers like you are. You see, it's y'all who rouse shit up. It, it's y'all. It's y'all who cause the problems. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody causing no trouble with y'all. I'm a straight motherfucking man. Been that. Will always be that. If if this is who you want to be, if if. if, if all right, y'all just heard that video, honey. Benzino was tight. He was upset. He was mad. So now what's very interesting to me is that back on April 11th, this was just a few days later, Benzino once again starts trying to explain this whole gay rumor. Because at this point, somebody's definitely being messy behind the scenes. I don't know if Benzino's going through some type of humiliation ritual, but something is going on. So somewhere behind the scenes of, you know, Hollywood hoodie or Z-list Hollywood, there have been rumors that Benzino's gay and he's messing with transsexuals. So Benzino decides to go back on Clubhouse literally and explain for a good 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to play the whole 30 minutes, but I'm going to play as much as I can. He decides to explain that he's not into transsexuals, he's not gay, and that this was for a movie role. And at that point, nobody even knew what the fuck he was talking about, because like I said, this was on April 11th. So we're just kind of looking around like, who asked for this information? Who Who is curious about this movie? Who cares? You know, at this point, that's what we're all thinking, like, what the fuck is he talking about? What the fuck? <laughs> that's really what the fuck I want to know. What the fuck is going on? To me, when I first heard it back then, I felt like he was trying to get in front of some type of story. I didn't know what the story was going to be, honey, until last night. But I felt, you know, back on April 11th, I'm like, I feel like he's trying to get ahead of something. Because usually when you're trying to get ahead of something, you're talking about shit that's not even there. And people are confused trying to figure out, you know, what are you talking about? Trying to put the pieces together. And at that point, like I said, nobody knew what the hell he was talking about. He was just volunteering all this information about Shauna Brooks. So I'm like, oh, shit. He done mentioned Shauna Brooks name, honey. I know it's about to get messy. So anyways, y'all go ahead and watch this video of Benzino stuttering and mumbling and, you know, trying to get his words together, honey, and explain how this was a movie role with him and Shauna Brooks. Y'all go ahead and check this shit out. Yo, yo, yo. yo. So where do we start? Where do we he start? Oh, there you shit. go. There you go. Uh, here yeah, we go. Yeah, so, yeah, all right. So here we go. So okay. So about three years ago, three years ago, uh, 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 Duchess from Black Ink was doing a movie. My man Cricket down here in Atlanta. The movie is called False Advertisement. It's about a straight man who's turning gay to 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 be with a a, a woman. All right. 
So usually the movies that I get are about me playing a uh, street nigga, gangster, whatever. All right, so I said, all right, cricket, I'm down, dude. This is a, it's a comedy. I like the script. I played the um, the uh, a magazine, the guy that runs the magazine. So I'm playing the guy's boss, who's straight, who is acting like he's gay to win to win the, the woman over. All right. Now Shauna Brooks was in the movie. All right. But I've never seen Shauna Brooks on set. I've actually never even met Shauna Brooks in person. Okay, never, never, never in, in Atlanta, on the movie set or whatever. Shauna had, had got my number, I don't know, from Crick or from somebody and called me about some shit that had something to do with the movie. We had a conversation. What I said was, you know, this is all new to me. It was new to me. I've never, ever talked to a transgender in my life. Never had a conversation. And that, now, 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 now like, let, like, let's make one thing clear, all right? Um... What I found out in all this, what I'm learning, because I'm sitting in my, in my restaurant now, all right? I'm sitting in my restaurant. I'm finally getting my, my license. And two of my partners, I have three par- I have four partners. One's in jail. Uh, one is, he's on the east side of Atlanta. And the two that I'm sitting at the table with right now, they've been married for 20 years. And they're two men. And they're gay. Okay, they're sitting with me right now. Sean and Daryl, all right? Um, when you I, say married, they're married to... They're uh, married. They're, they've been married as men for 20 years, okay? And I'm sitting oh, here... Oh, married to each other? To each other, all, all right? right? cool, okay, gotcha. Okay, all right, so, okay, so look, so so now look, so again, and, 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 and like, we're gonna walk this all the way through. When I grew up in Boston, I didn't grow up around no gay shit. In Boston, Roxbury, I, 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 I didn't see, I wasn't around no gay activity, no gay men. A couple of times, I remember... A, 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 a bunch of, you know, mm-hmm. jumping a gay nigga years ago. Years ago. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm admitting it. You know what I'm saying? We all jumped. A gay nigga came to four corners and we all jumped him. This was in the 80s. All right? That happened. All right? You know what I'm saying? Fucked him up pretty bad. That's what I remember. Now, 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 as as I go on in life, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I'm understanding the whole gay situation, but still not necessarily tolerant of it. I don't have anybody, like, there's no one in my family or nobody that I knew of. So I just never was around gay niggas. I never was around a gay situation. Now, as I come to Atlanta, and just as I'm, I'm, I'm maturing, I'm getting older, you know, like, I'm, I'm making my own decisions to have gay friends, all right, to, to, to be more tolerant. Because if, if, if Shauna Brooks called me and I was like, yo, man, don't fucking call me or just hung up or don't have nothing to do with it, then it's like, damn, like, you're a homophobe. But I'm not a homophobe because I'm understanding that gay people are cool. They cool. They regular people. What you do sexually in your room is on you. Like, I don't, I don't, it, like, like, I don't do it. Like, I've never took part in no gay activity. But now with all this, it's making me feel like, damn, damn. I should have been a homophobe. And I'm not saying that to disrespect my partners who are all sitting with me now in the restaurant because this is, a, you know, this, like, like, like we're supposed to be getting the restaurant ready for Wednesday, but this shit right here happened. I don't know why Sean, because this is old. That, that's just so old shit. I don't know why Shauna Brooks, because it all got happened because of Althea. All right, Althea had seen the number. Oh my God, you're fucking with a transgender. No, I had a conversation with a transgender on my phone who was in a movie that I was in. And yes, what I did say, it, it was all new to me. Like talking to somebody for Benzino, it was brand new. Because in my mind, damn, how would my niggas take this? How would my niggas take them even having a conversation with a transgender? Because the first thing they're going to think, oh, well, you're gay. Oh, well, you're fucking with the transgender. So, so, so yes, that, like the conversation took place, but I never even met Shauna Brooks. Now, now, so I'm not going to keep, I'm not even going to keep defending that. All right. This, but like, we're going to go now. What I want to talk about is like, what is the purpose of this? Is the purpose of Ion and the gay community is to make Benzino gay? Now, now, hey, Benzino, purpose, this oh, is the night. Yeah. You came into my room the other night and my phone died and I was supposed to like, clear this up for you um i you you shouldn't even be here explaining yourself like that's just a violation of human get your ass out of here tonight hey boom the shit up there's a clip listen so look, so look, let me clip. finish let me finish i'm and trying Benzino, to I'm gonna answer your question i'm trying they to figure out what's the purpose i sent it i sent the clip 
right? We played the clip. The clip is very, very fucking confusing. You my partner, right? And even when I heard the clip, I said, well, I got to He got to come break this shit down. Now, the, mo the, the confusion part about it is when you said something to effects of, this is my first time doing this. Yes, Finally. it's my first time talking to a transgender ever having a conversation having any type of uh, professional relationship movies whatever it was my first time ever being in, involved in this because i'm going to be honest it was like being tolerant of gay men was one thing i, I crossed that bridge i have gay friends yeah gay, that's okay but the transgender thing Something totally different. And, and I'm sitting here with, with Sean and them now. And even coming over here, we was having a conversation right before you caught. This is crazy because, because they just picked me up to come over here to clean up the place because we have our first inspection Wednesday to open up our place. Now, these guys, like, like, and like, and like they're my brothers. And I care about them. All right? Like, yes. So my thing is, what, like, like the conversation, I don't give a fuck about that because, because I'm not gay. So I can clear up the, like, the, if, if y'all need me to clear up the, clear up the um, you know, like, to clear it up, yes. It was my first time talking to a transgender, ever. And, and, and yes, people, just like they're doing now, are going to mistake in that because that's what society is. And that's what I was trying to avoid. But fuck it. We don't got to avoid it now. I spoke to Shauna Brooks. We, Shauna was in the like, and like in the movie. Cricket's on his way over here because the shit's out of control. Cause I call Cricket, like Cricket, like where's Shauna Brooks? But but see, this was three years ago. You see, this yeah, wasn't yeah, brought yeah. back up. You know what I'm saying? So so well, that's because so, Ion is digging for something. They say he has somebody over there talking about me, but I sit back on cruise control because shit. <clears throat> the only uh, the only gay dude I ever talked to on the phone is Jason Lee, and I'm a, that's my brother. He can call me any time of And, and Jason Lee's my brother. Same That's shit. Like, brother. Look at, like, like, listen, the, the rap he, industry. Not only he call me, I'm pulling up. We do business. And I'm gonna defend you. That's my brother, brother. So that, listen, that's my part. Right? Yeah, but listen, though, but listen, this whole this whole industry is filled with gay men. If you're in the industry, you are gonna come across professionally, whether it's the movies, whether it's rap, and I had to learn that. And guess what? I learned that these people. A, 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 a great people, they're good people. Not all. You're gonna have assholes. And like and like Sean and, and Sean and them just told me. They said, you know what, Zeno? You don't really have to use the word faggot. We'll use it for you. And because in their case, they said yes, they're a gay hey, man. Hey, and then they, the listen, over here, listen, bro. Listen, Tell them listen. to get out of high young rule. But what they said was there are gay men and there are faggots. They said, but you don't use that. Let us do it for you. And I said, I said, I've never been involved in this but i said it make it hurts my heart because and i and i told them i said i don't never want y'all to think i have anything against y'all i said i felt like as a human being and as a, and as a mature man that i've made great strides to kind of get that whole gay homophobe shit out of me and and and, and i'm proud of myself because because there are gr great men like i don't look at them as, i don't look at these two guys as gay or whatever i just look at them as like like my partners like they're men whatever and, and, and they love each other like they're different than 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 me, but 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 like we're all different. Everybody's different. Like if I was gay, if I like trans um um, um women, if, if I liked all that, man, like I'm a real person, a real human being before I'm a real nigga. Like I would have no problem at this point in my life at 57. You know what I'm saying? At 57 years old, I wouldn't have a fucking problem with it, but I don't. And and, and 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 like you know, I know like right now everybody's on the you know because Benzino since the Eminem thing, since the Source thing, I got a lot of hate out there. I got a lot of haters of people who will continue to hate. And any little thing, whether it's my daughter, whether it's the gay agenda, they're gonna look for anything to pick apart my character and everything else. I'm a straight man. I've always been straight. I've always grew up on dignity and code, and I will continue. I think by me not being a homophobe has made me a better person because we all are living in this world together. And and I realized that. The first time me and Ion talked, um, I remember it was in a room, and Ion was cool. He says, man, listen, Zeno, I'm going to come up to your restaurant and blah, blah, blah. All this other shit, when, when the hotel situation came up, this shit um, um, happened, and then Ion's taking shots at me. I don't even know where the fuck that came from. 
because because I was in the room with him and shit was cool and I was communicate with Ion on just a regular level. So so I, like, hey bro, I, hey bro, I know this though, Benz. You know, like who the fuck is Ion to even try to out you? Like, don't they supposed to be against that type of shit? Like, even if that was the case, it was posted on. I thought, but see, but this is this is what's confusing me. Ben, like, if I was, like, see, I this is what's like, confusing me. This is no, but wait a minute. This is what's confusing up, me. If I was, look at, so now I'm thinking. But look at now I'm thinking. Like, if I was a homophobe, then none of this would have happened. So if I was a motherfucker like Shauna, what the fuck you calling me for? Like, nah, I don't, and hung up and if I was, a, like, nah, I wouldn't even have partners. Like, if I was a homophobe, then I wouldn't even have to, um, to, to try to defend my sexuality. So which one is it? Like, it's either I'm gay or I'm a, or I'm a homophobe. It can't be both. It and can't be both. And y'all click that link link at the top on um, the riff like, link at the top. This shit is getting so fucking like no, it ain't. Man, the club, the club, the club, the club, man. Follow me on YouTube. This shit oh, is getting so stupid, bro. Like the I don't even know what the fuck. Like an intimate, like an intimate combo. Man, how the fuck did <laughs> it sound intimate? Play that shit. How the fuck did it sound intimate? I've never even play met her. Hey, I don't know where is that. Do you have proof that it's a clip? Where Mika at? Mika got that fucking thing, that roll cap. How the fuck does this conversation sound intimate? Did you want to say she sucked my dick? Did you want to say that she sucked my dick? You played all the up through that little thing? The yeah, fuck, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathe, bro. Breathe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just breathe. Hey, niggas, niggas don't know what it is. Breathe, man. Yeah, yeah. Talk to yeah. him, relax. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Real niggas know what it is. You know what it is. All right, y'all. Just watch that long ass explanation, child. Now, what's so interesting is I had did a video about Shauna Brooks years ago, back in 2017, when Johnny Blaze was blasting Stevie J and saying that Stevie J was messing with Shauna Brooks and Shauna Brooks came out you know she denied it for the most part but then she you know she rapped a very interesting song about a trade honey who had her uptown like whoa rest in peace to Black Rob let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory that's how long I've been in this game I don't forget shit y'all go ahead and check out this flashback real quick enjoy And here goes a picture of her, Johnny, and Tammy Rivera. And this was at the premiere of Growing Up Hip Hop. And so she knows Shauna Brooks really well. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some video. Shauna, go ahead and check this out. So he retired, whatever the case may be. Um, I had my ribs removed. Like, if you guys can tell, you see that little dent right there, girl? Yeah, well, the reason I had to go out of the country for that is because, girl, they don't they don't give that here in America. Anyways, I'm just letting you know if you want that curvature, if you want that curvature, right? That if you want that, girl, get your cotton balls, put it at night, go to sleep, bitch, wake up and be beat. Okay, I'm gonna do a bowl challenge. So, bitch, I can't rap or rhyme or a dime, but bitch, let's see what it says. Um, I had to stray from up top, he was whoa. Fuck me up, sucking cock all on the low. Want a bitch vent to Chanel's like, bro. Had me in red bottom, dump it from a go. Now I'm a power bottom nigga, that's for show. But if I'm bending over, niggas better have my dough. You fucking with my money, it's a motherfucking no. I'm only dealing with the niggas with that bank roll. Rolling on my wrist, no tip, that's whoa. Banana pussy on your timeline as you stroll. Word to the streets, I'm a motherfucking hoe. But if you got beef, you can meet me at the door. All right, so y'all just saw that flashback, honey. Now that I think about it, who was this trade that Miss Shauna Brooks was talking about? Was Benzino the trade? Being that it wasn't Stevie J, maybe it was Benzino. You know, who knows? So now, if that's not crazy enough, what ended up happening yesterday is that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a video appears online of Benzino getting arrested, honey. He don't went to his baby mama house, Althea. And I like Althea. I think Althea's a, a cool girl. She was on Love and Hip Hop. She fell in love with Benzino. 
They had Baby Benzino. Then they tried to be on a few other reality TV shows. It didn't quite work out. And then, you know, after a while, Althea just got tired of it. She got tired of, like, the, you know, the nonsense that Benzino was putting her through. She just wanted to co-parent with him. So all of a sudden, this video appears online yesterday of Benzino getting arrested for punching Althea's new boyfriend's truck. Benzino is crying. People are saying that he's coked out. I don't know, child, because y'all not know how to recognize when folks are high on coke because I don't hang with a bunch of coke heads. So I don't know what to look for. But the people, I guess, who do coke said that he looked like he was coked out. I don't know. Allegedly. So Benzino's crying. He's threatening this man. The police are like, you need to stop. You need to quit cussing. You need to calm down. All the while, the one police officer is cussing as well, which I thought was kind of hypocritical. You're going to tell him to stop cussing, then you're going to cuss. Child, make it make sense. So anyways, y'all go ahead and check out this video, honey, of Benzino looking a hot ass mess, getting arrested in front of his baby mama house. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> All right, we got the full clip of Benzino. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Let's get to it. Okay, hang on one second. Hold on. Talk to us for a second, okay? Yeah, no. Yo, hey. don't, don't talk to her, yo. Hey. Don't talk to her, yo. Right. Hey, hey, hang on. Right. All right. All right. All right. Back up. All right. I'll post back up. All right. All right. Come here. Man, yo, Come don't here. start talking. What's your name? Talk. What's your name? Don't start talking. No. I'm not. Huh? What's your name? Huh? You want to take me out? Fight. You want to do what you do? What do you do? Listen to me. What you do? Listen to me. What you do, you pussy? Listen to me. What you do then? Hey. I got guns too, pussy. What's Oh, really? Oh, I bet. Hey, hey, hey. I bet have guns. Hey. this motherfucker threat me with Hey, he just said he's going to shoot me, man. Okay. What's your What's your name? What's Raymond name? Scott, sir. Raymond, come here, man. Come here. You punk motherfucker. Come over here. Let's keep you guys. No, 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 no. You heard what he just said to me. I know. You heard what he just I said to me. I heard you, man. Come on. Come right over here. Here. Come right here. Get you in some air conditioner, man. Here, sit down. Just sit in here so I can get you guys separate, all right? Now, please tell me what is going on. Visitor, I just met her. Okay. This is where they live? She lives down at the end. Okay. So I go walking. We go walking. I don't, I don't know if she's married. I don't know if she's married to this dude. Okay. We get back, he's there. At the house? Yeah. Okay. I still waiting. Right? And so I'm like, what's going on? He come running at me. Hey, brother, hold on now. Right. So I'm trying not to fight him. I shoot him. I'm a license carry. Okay. Right? So I'm like, listen, I don't know nothing about all this. Okay. okay. I'm just trying to go. Well, he kicks a big dent in my truck on the side door. Okay. The red, the yeah. one you were in there? Okay. So, now, you didn't know she was married? No. Okay. I don't know if she's married or not. He said they are. Okay. And... Pretty much when y'all went for a walk and mm -hmm. came back, he was at your truck or at the house? Truck. He was at your truck? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you've never seen him before this? Never seen him before. How long Ever. have you and her been talking? Just a couple of days. I've been on the golf course. <laughs> okay. Know? Do you live in Chateau as well? No, I live in uh, Stockbridge. Okay. All right. All right. So, do you want to press charges for the truck or you just want to... my truck. Uh, so, do you just want to report for the damage or do you want to, like, press charges? Like, do you want him to go to jail? He's probably going to, I think he's probably already got a history. He's probably going to go anyway. But okay. uh, uh, I don't want him to come around me. Like, I ain't coming back over, so you got to worry about that. But okay. He put a dent in my truck. I definitely want that, and he threatened me. So, you know. Okay. Yes. Now, okay. Okay. now, please tell me, what is going on? No, he's fucking with my wife. Yeah. Okay, so who... Here? No, no. Listen, my son's here. I came to pick him up from from um um. Uh, listen, bro. Listen, he just threatened me. You heard what he just said. I and better have a gun. And we're here did, now. But did you we're hear here, that? So we can handle. But did that. you hear that? I did hear all that. Okay. But we can all handle right. that. But I need you to tell me what happened before I got. Here. I don't, man. I, listen, listen, sir, sir. I'm not raising no things. I'm not raising. He came. I was getting my son. He started talking shit to me. I said, bro, I don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave me the fuck alone. He started talking more shit. Talking about he got a gun and he's going to do all this other shit. What am I supposed to do? My fucking four-year-old son is over there playing tennis. What am I supposed to do? Now, I, get, I understand. I got you. So you're upset because you're, this is all happening in front of your son. Here, stay here with yes. me, man. Please. Bro, okay, I'm bro. Telling. But, bro, this man just threatened me with a gun. I bro. understand. Bro. And we've got an officer standing there with him. we got another officer coming. Like, we will get to the bottom of this. I yeah. promise you. This man just threatened me with a gun. Just, no problem. No problem. Here. You fucking pussy. I got you. You fucking pussy. 
I don't believe this shit, man. Dude, stay I'm up here, looking, please. I, but you looking makes everything worse what because then you start talking again and it. Yo, but he just. I understand that, but you over here yelling the f bomb and shit. Houses sorry, that ain't making nothing better. Bro, he just he just got finished talking about he's gonna fucking and that he's gonna fuck him and, him, um, and then shoot me with a gun. Go know? back over here in the grass. He just said he's gonna shoot me with I a gun. I understand. Go back in the grass. I can't hear. Yes, if, if he called. So that, that's a crime. Calling the police on somebody and acting like somebody's doing something. To yeah. Him. What What did he call for? Because we was fighting and okay. I wanted him to leave. Was and he was here. Is it your dad's place over there? It's, I live here. This is my house. Okay. All right. So. And he called the police on me. Okay. And the police came. He don't live here, he right? He does not live here. Okay. He don't have any belongings inside nothing, or anything. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Now, what's the relationship between y'all two? He's my son's father. Okay. Y'all haven't been together recently. No. Well, we we, we tried it off and on since uh, for a while. But right. He, it's been off and on since 2012. Okay. So how did they, them two? I because guess. Because he popped up. I have all the emails. The dude in the blue or the guy with no shirt? The guy in the in the in the, in the, in the paint. Okay. He popped up. He. So he popped up. Pretty much, this, this guy right here is saying he was here to visit you today. Y'all went for a walk you know, when he came back to the truck. He, he was over oh, this there. One, one with the blue. Yeah, he yeah. was over here to visit yeah, you. Yeah. And then when y'all came back from a walk, the gentleman with no shirt popped up. Okay. And so what happened at that point? He started threatening him and, okay. and getting in his face and acting crazy. All right. So what what happened with the truck? He punched his truck. Okay. You want to show us where that damage is, bud? You can't miss it. Look over on the left side. Right here? Yeah. Something else? You can see it all. Yeah, I see it. Rear door. Yeah, rear door. There's another one. Okay. Got two of them. What is that? Here and here. Yeah. Hand print. Yeah. All right, bud. Yeah, your ID and uh, so are you? Like I said, are you want to press charges or are you just want to report for like the insurance claim? Well, it's completely up to you. I can't say one way or another. I don't like nobody coming at me like that. Right? No, I understand. So I have to press charges. Okay. For my damage and for him threatening me like this. Okay. Right. How could you do this to me for him? All right, do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back for me, real quick. All right. How could you do this to me? Back, sir. I'll get it. We'll get it. Put him in the hatties. That's my property, so please bring it to no, me. We're going to bring it with you. Do you have a shirt you want to put on or anything? It's right there. What am I being arrested for, sir? Right now, you're arrested for criminal damage to the truck. I that didn't you do nothing to the truck, I'm yo. Telling, they all... you, that's how you, you snitched on me. I can't believe you out there. As much as I've done for you. As much as I've done for you, I can't fucking believe you. Come on, be done with I him. I can't believe you. Come on, yo. Come on, come on, man. You ain't gonna try to get the whole hey, Black Lives Matter, yo. All right, all right. Uh, you ain't gotta be trying to fucking no, rough me up, all right? Let me get my, let me get my shirt. You ain't gotta try to rough me up. Is there anything you don't want to rough me up, yo? Put your hands on me. We wouldn't do that. Trying to rough me up, man. I didn't do shit to his fucking car. Look how big you are. Why would I want to fucking try to fight you? Man, I don't want to be honest about it. I don't want to fight. Right. But we don't either. Thank you. Yes, sir. Put the AC on, sir. Yeah, I'll turn it on full blast. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Benzino acting a hot ratchet mess in front of Althea's house. So he was eventually arrested and carted away. So now, if that's not bad enough, last night I was minding my damn business because y'all know I just dropped my deep dive. I've been busy editing um, my deep dive for the month, which is a Prince documentary. So I dropped that yesterday. So, you know, I was taking a break from the computer because I've been editing literally 48 hours straight. My eyes were hurting all that shit, but y'all didn't come to hear that. So I start getting tagged on Discord and people were like, oh, shit. Shauna just dropped receipts showing that Benzino and her had some type of relationship going on. So I'm like, ooh, I wonder if this was the tea he was talking about on April 11th. That made no sense to me at the time. I wonder if this is it. So, of course, I put on my damn coat and I ran to the streets of Twitter and it was trending. And then I saw the video and I'm like, hmm, interesting. Is this not what he was saying in that, you know, video on April 11th. And now Shauna Brooks is posting this. 
So y'all go ahead and check out this video. Like, why can't you understand that? You don't fucking look bad, I do. You can never look bad. Because you're the, because, because see, in this world, you ain't doing nothing wrong. <laughs> it would be wrong if I did. Can't you get that through your head? You're not looking bad, Shauna. You're looking like a fucking chick. Hey, it's just a chick and she tried to fuck with a nigga. I'm looking wrong because what the fuck are you doing trying to fuck with a transgender? I'm old in my ways. I'm a 55-year-old nigga. You know what I'm saying? So listen, like, daddy. So listen, it, daddy. It is what I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try not to be... Selfish. Okay, since you're saying I'm, I'm being selfish. Yeah, because you're not thinking about me and what I could be going through. That's not fair. Because because people are cruel and my world would be finished. I would be done. I would be like, what, what, what little I'm trying to get back now, what little I'm trying to get Zeno back into the thing now, I'd be done. Like, but that's not what the world's going to think. They're going to be like, man, she's Don't always, you know, like a trans thing is always going to come up in certain ways. But, but. It doesn't take away who you are and the qualities that you have. That's all I'm saying. You know, so it's just that the, the world's not ready for that. Because believe me, man, they would hop on me like a fucking, it would be, my father would just don't be, it would be a fucking mess with me. I'm up, see, Sean, what? I'm, a, what? I'm, I'm just, a man, and I'm just now adapting to this type of world. But who I was before, I'm that, like alpha male, you know what I'm saying? I'm that nigga. Now, yes, I'm saying, this shit is all new to me, and I'm trying to be open-minded about it. But then I'm like, you start saying, wow, this is crazy because she looks, I mean, the way they got you looking, the way you, it's just, you know what I mean? Like, so, so, and it's not like I've even, so, okay, well, let me go look at some other trans now. I haven't even looked at that. I haven't even done that. I love porn. I don't watch trading porn. I don't watch gay porn. But that's just me. You know what I'm saying? All right, so you guys just saw that video. Um, it's messy. Now, Benzino back on the 11th, he claimed it was for a movie role. Child, I'm not buying it. I don't see y'all at no script table. I don't see y'all doing no script read. It looked like I was just on the phone having a normal conversation. So, anyways, he's not getting drug online. What's more interesting is that the same night that all this, you know, came out, he was also on Vlad TV. Vlad TV was posting clips of Benzino, one, addressing the gay rumor about him being at the Red Roof Inn. Also talking about his daughter, Coyle Ray. If you guys don't know Coyle Ray, um, she's an up-and-coming rapper. I really like her. And so she did a song with Nicki Minaj called Blick Blick or something like that. And Nicki was asking this young woman, you know, has she had been with another woman, which I thought was kind of weird that she was asking her that. Hey, Coy, you are, you're not a lesbian, right, Coy? No, no, no. I like dick. Are you bisexual? No, I ate pussy before though, but I mean You did? Yeah, it just wasn't for me. <laughs> after you was up in it, that's when you realized I said, like, yeah, after I was in it, that's when I realized that I was like, listen, this is not for me. This is not my type of thing. I, you know what it is, Nikki? I I like a man's touch. Like I like aggression and I'm I'm just like, you know, I don't Yeah, I like aggression. Mm -hmm. So a girl can't really give me that aggression, you know what I'm saying? And some girls are aggressive. Like look at uh young MA. Like, is that aggressive enough? I feel like that's my like that'd be my homie. Like I couldn't you know what I'm saying? Like she, But I felt like Corla Ray really handled herself well. And she basically explained, like, you know, I tried it before, you know, I tried to eat the box and it was not for me. And I went back to being strictly dickly. And so Vlad TV or whoever is behind the camera, because it ain't Vlad, honey, sounds like a black man. Um, they're asking Benzino about this. Like, how do you feel about your daughter basically saying that she tried it one time and she's not gay? And, you know, you can see the shock in Benzino's face, but you can see he's low-key proud as well. And so he addresses it on top of the Red Roof Inn situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the Red Roof Inn situation first. I'll go ahead and listen to what he had to say about that. Then I'm going to play you guys the clip of him talking about Coyle Ray. Check this out. Video come out two weeks ago. You wilding out at the cops <laughs> in a Red Roof Inn. What the? So 
it's five like, years. Like it you happened, trying to do better. It happened you five years ago. That was better. five. That was five years ago. Stop lying. That was five years ago. Are you serious? That's five years ago. You, you didn't see my Dominican baseball cut? I don't got that no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 had the, I, had the, I had the Dominican uh, 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 designated hitter cut <laughs> back then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, that was five years ago. And um, my, my child's mother had just took Zeno. He was one years old, just moved him out of. We broke up. She just ran to California, took my son out there. I ran out there trying to like figure it out and um, try to reconcile reconcile with her. It didn't happen. I had to come back to Atlanta. I didn't have a place to stay. My money was low. Um, didn't have a car. Um, Cavario, who's a friend of mine over 20 years, worked at The Source, worked at Hip Hop Weekly, um, used to uh, own write for Don Deaver and own it. One of my dear friends, um, one of the smartest guys from the streets I've ever met. And um, he picked me up because he lives in, he had lived in, uh, at the time, I guess he lived in South Carolina with his wife. Picked me up and um, how can I put this? Because he, you know, I don't want to jeopardize Cavario in any way, but you know, I came from Cali. I didn't have too much money. I had to do my thing, Prez. I had to get back Understood. in the streets. I mean, you don't even have to go. You don't even yeah. have to get no deeper into it. Let's leave it there. Yeah, we get it. The 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 the, the, the disappointed thing is like, oh man, what's he doing? What's he doing in the hotel with another man? And I done been. We didn't slept. I remember on tour, we didn't slept in motels four deep, head to foot. People have this thing where everything has to be a gay topic. So I think that you know, I didn't pay attention to it. But you know, people try to you know say mean shit or whatever. But um, you know, I, I I found it not just funny, but just like ridiculous that we're at a stage now in life that if you're in a hotel room with a man, that you have to be gay. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know, shout out to all the gay people around the world, but Zeno's not in the club. <laughs> Okay, let me tap into the father side of you. I want it before I leave Koi. She recently revealed that she hooked up with a woman and she realizes she ain't gay. <laughs> Thoughts. <laughs> just, we gonna leave I that alone. Even, I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know that. But you know Yo, uh, you was looking at me like <laughs> Word? Like, <laughs> like, huh? Yeah, I mean you do your homework, Press, because I didn't know that shit. Um you know, that might be good for the LGBTQ and the the straight community as a whole to understand that that what is being gay. You know, here's a situation where she said that she thought she was and she hooked up with a woman and said, nah, it wasn't for me. So I think that alone, that message alone, because you've never really heard that before. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I want to give Coy her props for putting that out there because that is a message that needs to go out there. You know, a lot of, you know, people are confused, Prez. You know what I'm saying? People are confused, you know, and, you know. It, when I grew up in Boston at Four Corners, Prez, it, I, I didn't grow up around people who were gay. I, I've rarely seen it. To be, be, to be brutally honest, I've rarely seen anybody that was gay. I really, you know. So the whole gay thing is not like it's new. It's been around, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I, I've i been more tolerant to the point of, it. I mean, listen, the LGBTQ are here. They're part of our society. You know, they have great people with them. I'm sure they have assholes with them, just like straight people. And I think the biggest thing is how does somebody become gay? And I don't even want to touch that. I can't even go. Yeah, with don't it. even touch that right. one, bro. But Coy making <laughs> don't that even statement, you know, makes kind of gives a little clarity to the situation. You know, for her to say that, she she might have thought a certain way. And you think to yourself, well, why did she think that? Because there was nobody gay in, in our family for her to grow up around to take on to, to, to be gay. So however she was thinking that she was gay. She came to the conclusion, something in her said, I'm not. This ain't for me. And 
um, I think we need to take that into consideration and the people out there who might be going through the same thing, wrestling if they're straight or gay. Um, I think that's something that, you know, we need to have more conversations about because, you know, we, we want we want to all be on this earth in, in unity, you know, and everybody has to respect everybody else's choices, you know, so, um, yeah, you know, um, well, I'm, I'm glad she uh, figured it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad she figured Good it out. Good for her. Yep. Good for her. Okay, I want to talk again. I told you this has been an eventful year <laughs> for, a, for Ray a... Benzino. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it up to press, in. boy. <laughs> that's that's okay, man. Wow, I didn't know that, man. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So y'all just heard his explanation for the Red Roof Inn situation. Supposedly, you know, he was down on hard times. You know, he was homeless and having to live with his homeboy in the shower. I don't know. I don't care. But what caught my attention, what what made my ears perk up, is the interview with Coyle Ray. Because he had some type of Floridian, Floridian, I don't know how to say that word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Floridian slip. I think that's how you say the word. I think he was low-key telling on himself, but by accident. If you guys notice, at the 236 mark, Benzino slips up and he says this. He says something in her came to the conclusion that she's not, meaning that Coyle Ray is not gay. But then the very next word he says is, same for me. So did y'all peep that he says she came to the conclusion, something in her said, I'm not. The same for me. However she was thinking that she was gay, she came to the conclusion, something in her said, I'm not. The same for me. She came to the conclusion, something in her said, I'm not. The same for me. So he threw himself in there. Now, I'm no body language expert, honey, okay? But I be watching some of them body language videos. And the way he, like, pointed at his chest, it's like, you know, this is who I am. I tried it and it was not for me. I'm saying it with my whole chest. That's the vibe I got. Sir, don't use Coyla Ray and her situation chat with Nikki to, you know what I'm saying, creep out the closet or justify anything. I caught that. I thought it was very interesting. So now what's even more crazy is that um, today, 50 Cent is speaking about this situation and Shauna Brooks. Now, if y'all don't know, 50 Cent and, you know, Benzino been beefing, child, since the early 2000s. Y'all know 50 Cent was a part of Eminem's crew. You know, that was his boy. Eminem's the one who discovered 50 Cent and, you know, helped put him on and all that stuff. And so when Benzino owned the source, he felt like he was, you know, he was upset that a white boy was running hip hop at the time. He didn't think it was fair. So he came out, he started blasting Eminem. He came out with all types of diss tracks um, and Eminem hit back. It was like a really good time in, in hip hop. It was like a good rap beef. I was here for it. I had all the damn, you know, diss tracks. I had downloaded them off of LimeWire and Kazaa. You know what I mean? Y'all might be too young to even know what I'm talking about. But for us, you know, 90s kids, y'all remember damn Bear Share, LimeWire and Kazaa? That's how I got all my underground beefs between Benzino and Eminem, okay? Because I didn't live on the East Coast. We had to do what we had to do in the Midwest. So they've been beefing for years so 50 cent with his messy ass he decided to speak on the situation so let me go ahead and read this to you so 50 cent says young buck benzino just embrace who you are but don't pat nobody's butt when they score a basket fool lol haha nah for real punk so that is what 50 cent had to say um ken barbie also said this he says, Benzino is an example of men who speak out against the LGBTQ community because they're fighting themselves. He wants to know how one can be gay if they didn't grow up around it. We could ask him the same. He must have forgot begging to cover up his relations with Shauna Brooks. So now Shauna Brooks ends up responding and she says this. She says, my intent is never to out anyone, but my truth is always T. While it's painful to reveal publicly, I'm tired of men loving girls like us only behind closed doors and treating us as if we're disposable when it's no longer convenient. They want you to be their toy on their time. Then she goes on to say, yeah, I'm tired of putting my neck on the line for a nigga that don't even have one or that can even measure up to. 
Now, what kind of bothers me with that situation? I spoke about this years ago when I was talking about the whole Bobby Valentino situation when he was getting outed by that trans girl. And my thing is this. This is what confuses me about some in the trans community. Not all y'all, but some of y'all. Y'all want to be seen as regular women. Y'all say y'all are regular women, just like, you know, me, who's a regular woman. So my thing is, if you claim that you are also a woman, why is it that when it's convenient, y'all can out a man? And when you're outing them, you're basically saying, look, he slept with another man. You know, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Because, again, if you want society to see you as real women, then why is it a stigma if this quote unquote straight man is with a trans woman, you know? And like I said, I asked this question back in 2017 when the whole Bobby Valentino situation went down and it was crickets, like nobody responded, nobody, you know, nobody told me shit. So I, I don't know. But that's just the question I have is that, you know, why the outing if you guys see yourself as quote unquote women, you know, just doesn't make any sense. But um, I definitely feel like Benzino has been fronting. You know, Shonda Brooks ain't never had no reason to really lie. You know, she might be a little bit messy, but she ain't never lied about any of these people. I think a lot of these men in the industry mess with trans women. And I think it's more of a fetish for them. And then when they're done, they just put them back on the shelf like a doll. And a lot of trans women get hurt behind that. They get very upset. Nobody wants to feel used at the end of the day. I don't care if you're male, female, trans, or just a regular woman. Nobody wants to feel used or disrespected. But also, people need to understand the difference between somebody really loving you and wanting to be with you and claim you publicly, or somebody just sitting there wanting to use you as a sexual play toy. And that's where a lot of people need to have that real conversation, you know. And for a long time, Shauna has been very proud of being a sex worker. So I think because of that persona that she's had over the years, that might be why some of these guys come at her simply, you know, as a sex worker to get sex as opposed to being in a real relationship, you know. But I just, I think the whole situation is definitely messy. But Benzino's been out here on some clown shit as well, though. So Benzino has now responded to 50 Cent. This is what Benzino had to say. Benzino says, so at 50 Cent want to clown me for fucking with the trans community? Someone asked him why Power got gay as hell this season. Then he goes on to say, keep pushing my buttons, boy, at 50 Cent. You not getting any more crab trap hookups? Then he says, yo, at 50 Cent, I heard you watch all the Drew and Everett scenes back each week. Um, okay, that was a really dry clap back, but again, it's Benzino. Um, so that's what he had to say about the situation. I just think the whole thing is messy, but I'm not surprised about this. Because if you guys don't know, Althea was the first one who blasted him back in 2020. And a lot of people came at her and said she was just a bitter baby mama. And how dare she even, you know, try and say that Benzino swings every which way. He's from Boston. He's a man's man. Well, let me go ahead and spill this tea in case y'all forgot. Now, this was back on December 20th, 2020. Althea claimed that she was on her son's iPad and she found a message from Shauna Brooks to Benzino. This was in 2020. And so she took a picture of it with her phone and you can see where it says S. Brooks and it's Shauna's picture. And you can read a little bit of it where it says, no, I thought that you were saying that you were just and then the rest is cut off. So Althea says this makes all the sense in the world now, but I'm covered in blood should have just let me live and co-parent respectfully things you find on your kids's iPad. Now, on top of that. She had also asked this question a few years ago that a lot of people forgot about. So one of the things that Althea said, and this was from a few years ago, back in 2016, she says, I have a question. If a man likes to play with the banana in his ass, is that gay? So it seems like Althea has been hinting around for years that Benzino was either gay or went several different ways. And now with Shauna releasing those um, videos of Benzino and her having a conversation um, about, you know, his activities, it looks like everything that Althea was saying years ago wasn't a lie. She wasn't just being bitter. She was being more concerned than anything, you know, so... The whole situation is crazy, but I, like I said, I've never seen Benzino this much in the news, especially for fuckery. So I don't know if he's going through some type of humiliation ritual, but the whole situation is a hot damn mess. But I want to come on here and break it down to my tea sippers. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. How do you guys feel about everything from him being caught at the Red Roof Inn, people giving him the benefit of the doubt? 
And then it came out that, you know, he was wilding out the other day um, at Althea's house. And then yesterday, the whole Shauna Brooks thing came out. But then weeks ago, he was, you know, hinting at it. It just sounds like there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. And the sad part is this is taken away from, you know, Coy LeRae. Like, I feel like this should be Coy LeRae's moment. She just dropped her debut album. From what I'm hearing, it's okay. It's not too bad. A lot of people I know like it. So I think this should be his daughter's moment. But it's more or less turning into Benzino's moment and not a good moment at that. So let me know your thoughts on everything. Make sure you guys are still subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to share the video. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.